Hey guys this is Helium Lemon 15 Welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World This is part 6 I had a great week and I'm a big fat loser Ha 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 isn't that funny I'm not about to let my channel get sabotaged by a computer Anyways hey guys this is Helium Lemon 15 And welcome back to another lovely episode of Endless Ocean Lovely Blue World Um yeah So today is January 28th, 2016, and basically this episode, if you haven't figured it out already, this is post, and this is just basically an entire video exploring, uh, exploring Cicero Strait. And the last time I tried to record this, the computer stopped unexpectedly because it was running low on battery, and my com my commentary, I wasn't that happy with it, so I decided to just scrap it and do post-commentary. Anyways, there's a funny story that happened a while back, um, like a, f a few weeks ago at least, and I felt like telling it on my channel because it's just that kind of stupid thing. So, Walmart, right? We get... Apparently... Apparently, according to my history teacher, New York City, which is where I live, is the only major city in the U.S. to have effectively avoided uh, Walmart because of their, like, their business practices of, like, driving other people out of the competition. By the way, this is a real this is really nice. Do you say it was a sailfish or a swordfish? It's probably a sailfish. Anyway, and um, so that means that there are WalMarts around here. Which yeah, WalMarts are a great place to get cheap stuff. It's just a little shady sometimes, and it's uh, the only WalMarts that are close by are out in like New Jersey someplace like fairly far away from where we live and we live right across the street from a fairly expensive grocery store so we get stuff from Walmart like um, peanut butter honey uh, crystal light cranberry juice toilet paper paper towels stuff that no normally would be expensive at the grocery store and <laughs> when we open these packages uh, they're just like a total mess like the honey's all over everything the paper towels are all messed up anyway so we order some like toilet paper I think from Walmart and we get like this huge package we have no idea what's inside we open it up and it's like this light purple what's it a portable slumber basically some kind of small portable sleeping bag with like frozen characters on it like Anna and Elsa and like Olaf from Disney's Frozen and it's the stupidest thing we got like this stupid like little girl sleeping bag that we didn't order it just randomly comes in the mail for us instead of like toilet paper and <laughs> my parents are trying to figure this out and they go to like the guys that shipped it and apparently, it's not in their catalog, meaning they don't even sell the item. So it just randomly like popped out of nowhere, and I had it sitting in my bedroom for a little while. I took a picture of it um, to commemorate the occasion, but unfortunately, uh, a lot of the pictures I took with my phone are missing or not in my phone anymore because my parents took the SD card that they were saved on so fully I'm not gonna get him back for some time I don't care so yeah exploring Cicero Strait and the uh, the whirlpools and the different fish and the sharks and yeah it's just it's got a interesting variety of a lot of different species and a lot of interesting topography really beautiful in places and it's, it's straight up just a cool area and I'm gonna make as many straight jokes as possible because it's Cicero straight because straight out of Compton more like you know, I don't know 
so yeah, thank you to my um, friend Mark for doing that um, voiceover uh, in the last video. That was that turned out really cool, and I uh, I hope that fans of both my channel and his channel get to see it because he just did a really good job with it. Um, and yeah, it's it's nice when I get to have um, other people collaborate with my. Uh, other people collaborate with me on my LP videos, and I've had a few co-commentaries. This was not quite a co-commentary because he wasn't actually there when I did the gameplay. I just kind of did commentary and then edited his voiceover over my commentary. So that's why you get kind of this, like, both I'm talking and he's talking. Dad told me it would actually be, um, more successful if I just, I played the game first and then it edited the voiceover in post commentary without actually doing commentary over it myself but the thing is I don't think I'm ever gonna have any long videos of just like dialogue like I don't know I should come up with more ways for people to collaborate with my videos other than just uh, providing the voices of characters during long chains of dialogue I just not that creative Anyway, so something, so for all uh, all you folks living in, um, basically in the East Coast, uh, Snowstorm Jonas just happened, and that was kind of fun. It, I think it didn't hit my neighborhood too hard. We got all, uh, we got most of the snow out there pretty quickly, so we could, it, Snowstorm Jonas was on Saturday. January the 23rd and we were able to walk just walk outside the day after and kind of have a fun little snow day and eat some uh, mom and I went and ordered some nachos and dad had a veggie burger at the local uh, bar restaurant and just listen to the radio. We had our own little church service because church was canceled. I played some banjo kazooie, watched a movie. It's just it's nice. And now that I have like half a week off of school because of regions, then I I just kind of get to stay home and chill. So I got to hang out with uh hang out with one of my best friends from school yesterday, and I hope <laughs> he might be watching this. So I hope he's not too embarrassed by this. But, um, we, uh, how we, we got to look at my new Wii U, and, as you might know, I have Super Mario Maker on the Wii U, and it was his first time getting to play a Wii U console, as well as, I don't know, Wii U is a, is a weird name, I guess, I guess they're trying to expand on Wii by making it, like, more inclusive of you. But at the same time, it's like, Wii U is just too many vowels in a row. Oh, by the way, first camera taken with a picture. Gosh, I'm dyslexic. First picture taken with the camera in the game. Camera will help you unlock some trivia at points. Also, you'll get to do, um... You'll get to do requested photos for different clients uh, later in the game. In fact, not too far from now. Uh, you'll start getting photo requests, and those can be really hard. So yeah, Mahi Mahi, they're really cool fish. Uh, if you're ever in like Florida or something at a seafood restaurant and you see dolphin on the menu, like dolphin fish, that's another name for Mahi Mahi. Why? I don't know. So yeah, we spent like a couple hours just like playing uh, Super Mario Maker. Mm. I showed him the courses that I've made, and he actually, he made a course of his own, and it was really cool, I liked the idea. It was really difficult to like test out, but um, I don't know. It gave me some uh, creative inspiration for uh, Mario Maker's levels in the future. I should watch some more Mario Maker levels, uh, or videos, I guess, because I'm really inspired 
I'm always really inspired by game design and stuff like that. And I think it would be cool to design my own, like, little, uh, sort of mini game. These manta rays are pretty awesome, by the way. They're beautiful. The world's largest ray. And apparently very friendly to divers, so you can, like, ride, or... I think you can ride manta rays. No, I, they're not big enough. You can, like, pet manta rays. You always see somebody petting a manta ray in, like, commercials for, like, tropical vacations. Trying to remove parasites. Like, something. So yeah, Mario Maker is a lot of fun. We also tried out the uh, 10 Mario Challenge. Which, 10 Mario Challenge, the couple times I've done it, it's, it was not too hard. But Mar uh, the couple times we tried to do it, it's actually... Uh, fairly hard and I never realized that I was that skilled as a Mario player but I think the uh, three or four years um, that I've spent playing Super Mario Bros 3 I still haven't beaten it Super Mario Bros 3 is basically the only 2d Mario platformer that I've ever owned and by the way these bicolor parrotfish used to be like my favorite thing ever they were like my favorite fish in the game i just love the uh, the color scheme so much anyway i'm distracted i'm trying to talk about everything at once cicero Strait is really cool and uh... yeah i'm glad you guys got to kind of just see this video of me exploring cicero Strait and discovering different kinds of fish because that's really the most fun part of the game is just exploration and discovery and kind of it's educational but in like a really relaxing sort of way anyway I was just gonna say that my years of practice at Super Mario Bros 3 I've gotten gradually better and better at it which is a nice feeling and I got to help my friend out when he was having some uh, problems with some of the levels and so and my friend was here when I was recording uh, the footage, so he wanted to know what happened if what happens if I run out of air. I think it's different for different locations. Some locations, uh, when you're in the middle of like story mode, you you won't have the option to return to the boat. So something you won't necessarily get a game over because there's no game overs in this game. We'll see what happens when we get there. I really don't know how to explain it. So yeah, basically the next thing we're trying to do is we're trying to go to Volca Castle. Volca Castle is uh, down in, if you see the map, it's down in C7 someplace. So it's going to take a while for us to get there the next time, so we won't be able to go there today. And a lot of stuff happens when you start going to Volca Castle. Volca Castle, I'm just psyched for it. In any case, Thank you everybody for watching, I hope this video has brightened your day, and my channel managed to not get sabotaged by a Google Translate voice, and see you in the next episode when we'll start exploring some more uh, Volca Castle. See you guys then, bye bye.